Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to TMNT Mutant Madness. In this video, we have a new roadmap to take a look at, so we're going to go ahead, go through this, and see what's coming to the game in the coming months. But first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. First, let's go ahead and address the pink elephant, and the, maybe the green elephant, or the red, or the orange, or the purple, whatever color elephant you want to talk about. Let's talk about that elephant right now. Content for this game has been slow, so the videos for this game has been slow as well. Also, I have made a decision not to make tier lists or top tens right now because I don't feel that they're as relevant in this game as they could be since you cannot intentionally farm character so if you see something in the top 10 or whatever and you don't have them really what you do in this game is use your your strongest characters which characters do you have at the highest star level level those guys up tune those guys up and then use them in the game until you hit a wall and until you add more tunes to your roster or if you already have a full roster if you already have all the tunes in the game then you just go until you get a higher star level for that tune so it's you can't intentionally do what you want to do so i don't feel my tier lists or my top tens are all that relevant at least right now until we can get to a point maybe in this game maybe there's a future uh development piece in the works for this game where we can start intentionally farming characters like you would in almost any other any other hero collector game that's out there all right that aside we already that elephant has been discussed Let's talk about this roadmap. We do have some cool stuff coming up. So season three, currently in progress right now. So January 7th to March 4th, we have the Feudal Japan. So this is going until March. So we've got another month or uh, month and a half, month and a, few, a couple weeks uh, to go ahead and work through that. We got a codex is going to be added soon. This was cool. This was something that was suggested in a comments, one of the comments in one of my videos have a codex so you can go in and you can read the comics at your leisure. Maybe maybe there was a bug in the game and you, and you didn't see the comics for a specific storyline or maybe you bur burned through it really quick. So we got that coming soon, which is going to be very cool. Use it to view the different comics. Uh, comics. Uh, Clan Siege, first look. So in Season 3, get a first look at a new week-long event, Clan Siege. In this event, clans will face a series of opposing clans in PvP battles. Really looking forward to this. Participate to earn points and help your clan climb the leaderboards. Clan Siege event rewards individual milestones and ranked rewards to all clan members who participate. We plan to release Clan Siege as a cycling event that will occur every four weeks to start. And then we'll make that, uh, we may make changes to the schedule based on player feedback and other factors. So Clan Siege, if you're not familiar, same concept as Alliance Wars in other games, uh, Club Conquest, um, anything like that. It's an Alliance versus Alliance. If you've not been in any, in any type of, if you've not participated in any, any event of that type, it's exactly what it is. So same game mechanics, they may change it a little bit uh, based on on what it is that they are trying to accomplish. Uh, but typically the battle mechanics are the same and you're just gonna go head to head with another alliance. And if you win, you're gonna climb a leaderboard, you get rewards, which is very, very cool. I cannot wait to see what they have in store for that. All right, so with that, we've also got issues and bugs and quality of life updates. So a store option to unlock ad-based bonuses and rewards without having to watch an ad, which is cool. Clan masters and ninjas will have the ability to reject all or accept all pending applications, which I think is great. Um, a new visual indicator showing a star level of characters while in battle, improved visibility of power mutation, more UI details, and a new visual effects on affected heroes. That's cool as well. We got improvements to the hero filter. You got a back button, roll counter, uh, some cool stuff there. Player profiles will indicate your account is linked and backed up to congregate. Uh, so a lot of cool stuff there. I love quality of life stuff. Anything that makes the game easier and more efficient to play through, I love. Next season, Robot Revolution, March 4th to April 29th. This is this is gonna be this is my birthday, my birthday season. Um, so because my birthday is in April. So there we go. Robot Revolution. We got some cool stuff here. We got a new story, bot night. Get ready for the robotic revolution power up with new season quests, comic pages, and three new heroes coming our way, which is great. Are we gonna get What's that robotic turtle turtle name? 
Urgh, I can't remember. But are we going to get him? That would be cool. Uh, <laughs> we'll have our eyes on the relatively new Clan Siege game mode for fixes and improvements as needed. So we're going to get that first look. And then we're going to jump in there. We're going to play. They're going to collect their data. And then they're going to go ahead and make any improvements that they need to make. Channel 6 Rush Update. By popular demand, we will be adding an option to drop down levels to this game mode. This, I think, is critical because there are some people, some people are still stuck at where they are. They got to a certain point, and they and even though you drop 10 levels, they can't they can't progress beyond that for some reason or another. They're unable to to, to progress through that, even though the even though they had prior. And since it only drops you 10 levels from the highest from the highest level that you had hit, it's not going to continue to drop you 10 levels if if you don't hit that level. So uh, this is this is going to be very nice and it's going to help people. Next, we're adding some bug fix fixes, quality of life update. So adding a minimum power requirement for clan applications. Thank you very much. That is awesome because I am rejecting so many at like 5,000 and things like that um, <laughs> for, for my clan. So that is going to be very nice. Localization updates and improvements and additions to the store. So some very cool stuff. And you can tell that they are taking the feedback from the community and acting on what they can. Obviously, they're not going to do everything that the community wants because, you know, that would be impossible. But they are taking a lot of cool stuff and they are implementing it into the game. These guys are awesome. Love it. Next, Season 5. So if we've got my birthday update here, my birthday season with Robot Revolution, I'm huge, a huge tech geek anyway. So that's cool. That fits. Next, we have Sewer Surfers. This is the name of my clan. So this is my clan season right here. So we got April 29th to June 24th. Don't know anything about the story yet. Dive into a new season with a fresh set of new quests, comic pages, and three new heroes. So that seems to be a common theme with each new season. We're going to get three new heroes. At least that's what it's been so far. Sewer Surfers. This is going to be cool. I, we did talk about this briefly in an interview that I did with uh, Obito, uh, the lead developer, lead game developer. I can't remember his title. I apologize. I apologize, Obito and everybody else, if I get it by getting that wrong. However, we did discuss this. If you have not seen the, my interview with him, I'll go ahead and link it up over here. It was great. Had a great time. Sewer Surfers, in this daily roguelike game mode, players will fight enemies to progress through a series of increasingly difficult battles, earn rewards to help you power up, and eventually take down the final boss. Now, this is similar, or at least in my mind, this is similar to a bunch of different types of game modes that I've seen, typically a tower mode, um, a mode where you're going from floor to floor, or you're going from area to area, and as you work through the, the, those areas, you're gaining rewards and, and getting more and more cooler stuff. There is some perfect English for you. <laughs> anyway, you're progressing through this. Now, I can't remember if he had said that health and everything is persistent, and if if uh, because sometimes through these, as you're working through them, your health is persistent. So whatever you end one battle with, that's what you start the next battle with as far as health and things like that. Or if one of your characters gets taken out, then you're not able to take that to the uh, to the next floor or next area or whatever. I don't know if that's going to be part of this, but that's that that's what Sewer Surfer seems like seems like to me is that type of that type of tower game mode. And then there's equipment update. Boost your turtle power with an update to the equipment system. No idea what that looks like. I think I think he mentioned something about that as well. I can't remember. Definitely take a look at that um, interview, though. Got some cool stuff. Cool little sneak peeks in there as well. Um, but that is it. And I don't want to say that's it, as in, you know, that's all there is. But that's a ton of stuff that's coming. And that's coming all the way through June, so halfway through the year. A lot of cool stuff coming. A lot of quality of life stuff coming. A lot of new characters coming. New game mode. It looks like just one new game mode right now, and we get some. Uh, um, we get an update to uh, Channel Six Rush, which has been sorely needed. So a lot of cool stuff here. I'm very excited. Very interested in your thoughts on what do you think about this roadmap and what's coming up. All right, everybody. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. And if you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.